Hey there, this is Newcastle Music Studios, and this is a video request from Diego Ambrosio. The request is, hey, could you run your guitar through your tube composer, your Behringer, Behringer Model T 1952 tube compressor limiter to channel? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Nothing special here, <clears throat> just a few FYIs before we get this video completely going that I want to say about the compressor. I do have a couple of reviews. They're not very good on it. I'm not a super um, skilled outboard compressor guy. I usually just use plugins, not going to lie. Okay, so with that being said, a couple things I do know is the compressor and the limiter on this unit does work rather well, decent. All depends on your skill level, your settings, and of course, 90% of it's always going to be your performance. Now, with that being said, the one thing that I bought this for was the, um, I do believe it has two tubes in it, and it has a tube saturation function. This is the tube saturation function down here, right, right here and here, because we have one for each channel one, channel two. And uh, the biggest downfall of this thing is the tube saturation is a complete disappointment. So I'm just going to let you know that. If you want to buy this as a replacement, there's the guitar I'm going to be using right there. Now what, what you're looking at up here is I'm using the first channel for the guitar. What you're seeing is the guitar is going to be a direct in. There's no intermediate, nothing in between. And the other cable there, whoops. And the other cable there is the classic insert cable that is going to run over to the compressor. And if you're wondering what that other XLR cable is on my channel 3, that's the microphone I'm speaking into as you can see the green lighting up. All right, so let's go ahead and do this test. I'm just going to go ahead and bypass this by shutting this off. That's that little click noise. So all you're going to hear now is the guitar going directly into the mixer. And it's just clean. Sorry, the guitar sounds a little lame, out of tunish right now, but uh, I'm going through a cold season where I live, so the wood stuff and humidity hasn't quite settled down in my house. So. All right, so that's clean. Let's go ahead and flick her back on. And when we look over here, I had that at about 80%, so just 25% tube saturation. Tube saturation all the way up. You can just barely see the needle moving. And then, like I was pointing out with the output, with the gain staging, going up to 12. So you definitely get some really nice gain out of this unit. Now, off again. And that's pretty much it. So the takeaway you can take from this that you're going to hear, it's going to push up some of those bottom frequencies a little bit higher. And your higher frequencies, those are as well going to get pushed up. Because when you listen to it, in essence, it's a little glassier, a little tingier, a little more twang to it. Nothing special. Now this is all subject to change because you can use both channels, I believe, if you want. Um, you have some gain reduction over here, and then you can just switch it off too with this. So if you're listening, I'm going to turn this up to six, turning it off. Instead of the auto that I have on for my attack and release manual, which I have at, uh, I think that's 25 and 2000. 
And then the ratio over here, 4 to 1. We'll push that up to 10 to 1. Hard knee. Anyway, depending on how you do this, you're probably a lot better at your settings than I. But there's not a huge difference. There's a little bit of a difference. That little bit of a difference can make up for lousy pickups. But you can also fix that with your EQ and other stuff like that. Thanks for watching the video. This is Newcastle Music Studios. Stay tuned to subscribe for other videos. I'm going to start uploading again. I took about a year off from uploading. And I have some other gear that should be coming in the mail. But it's behind by like three months. So that has kind of sucked. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.